Hey guys, um, I'm bringing you another review here. Uh, Review-ish. Uh, I'm gonna do my favorite Leatherface from Cinema of Fear. It is uh, seriously by far one of my favorite figures. Like, I love this figure to death. It's just so awesome. Riley said he loves it too. Um, let's see. It's got, dude. It's got so much articulation for a Leatherface. It's amazing. He also comes with a extra apron and head so that you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with the, your favorite drag queen I don't know what the hell Leatherface's problem is but uh... it's like he eats people I guess he's kind of out of shape too if you haven't noticed But anyways get on with the figure he uh... you can take the chainsaw out of his hand he moves up and down I don't know if this one came with extra hands I don't think so that little hand did not come with him I just thrown it, threw it down there all of his extra stuff's put up I, put most of my stuff back up. He, uh, you can take his head off, put the other head on. It's a really cool head. He's, he did not come with all this blood. Actually, that's the only thing that made me kind of sad when I got him. He didn't have a lot of blood on him at all. Like, none of these Cinema Fear figures really have a lot of blood on him. Besides, there's one Jason that I got. The Jason Goes to Hell. He had quite a bit on him. I think. I'm not sure. But, so, I like to put my own blood on him. So, you know, detail him up. So I painted a lot extra shit on there, so, because, I mean, he really didn't have crap on him. Like, a lot of these figures are so plain. Um, his articulation on his arms are amazing. Like, I'm not going to take the chainsaw out, though, because I tried to pull it out earlier before I started, and this thing came off, almost. So I had to pop it back in, so. He's got his little, sweet little tie on, this little bone thing here, and for some reason, these have articulation in the legs of them, like Chop Top and Freddy, all the ones from this, but none of the other ones have articulation in the legs. Like, it's really awkward. And, uh, he's got a seam there rip on his butt, on his pants. I never noticed that before. Uh, this thing does come off. There you go. Just kind of popped it off there. And, uh, you see his fat gut from all that cannibal eating. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Right there. There he is. <laughs> Big old fat guy. Old gunner. But, uh, he does not have any holes in his feet for all the people that always want to know if your figures have holes in their feet. No, he does not. He does have blood all over his feet, though, which is cool. It actually comes with a bloody ass uh, pile there. Oh. He has a metal bracket in his mouth holding his mouth together. See those right there? It's really neat. His face is really detailed. Skin's not so detailed. And there's a from the looks of it, Leatherface doesn't get out a lot, but the guy who had his face before got out more. So uh yeah. There you go. This is a really nice Leatherface. Uh pick it up if you get a chance. Um I had a friend, you guys are gonna get sick when I tell you this for you guys that are master collectors. I have a friend who uh, had these figures in his comic book shop, and uh, he sold me all of the first three series for ten dollars a piece each figure. I know, right? You just threw up a little in your mouth. Yeah, so uh, I scored basically, major. I'm not bragging about it, but in your face. <laughs> I'm just joking. But, uh, yeah, see, it's a re really good set. So hit me up on there if you guys are looking for any of them, because he still has a couple of them left. Um, he had doubles, and I only bought one of each because I was trying to, you know, get as many of them as I could. But, uh, yeah, so pretty much if you guys, you know, you're looking for them or whatever, um, I can tell you what site to go to and stuff, or you can get them pretty cheap. Just tell me you're friends with me. But, uh, these are, uh, really sweet figures, especially for horror collectors. This is possibly one of my favorite Masters, or, uh, oh, Masters of Horror, uh, Cinema of Fear. So, yeah, check, em, check it out. Uh, if you find it, get it. It's one of the best ones for a collector. I mean, it is a really awesome figure. Um, uh, I'll do Leatherface Part 2 figure eventually. I'll get around to it. But, uh, there he is. There's, uh, little stupid ass hammer there it was like I don't know I just did, really didn't like the hammer too much I don't know there's this apron goes on there and uh, 
little severed hand that went with a uh it actually went with the uh figure from Todd McFarlane's leather face, I think. I don't know. Either that or it's one I made throughout my adventures. But yep, there you go. Videos are getting longer. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for subscribing. Um I'll keep on keeping on best I can.